All right. Hey, today we're going to talk about an air quality monitor that uh, it's possible people haven't heard of yet. And um, it's called the Air Gradient One. So I have it right here. Uh, to be expected, it looks like a lot of the other ones. It's, it's white, it's got a power cord, um, but it has some kind of interesting features that I think make it a little bit unique. So um, first off, it is reset accredited. So that's great. Um, it's actually has an option for open source uh, hardware software version, and there's this open air gradient initiative. So it might be one of the only monitors that currently does that. Um, it was designed to be like a low cost, affordable option. They have a long history of testing in schools um, and they're looking to, to get into the US market a little bit more. There's a um, highly adaptable platform. In fact, their, um, their dashboard was the one um, that allowed me to get a lot of my other monitors all online together for basis of comparison um, for our green build presentation, which is really exciting. And uh, yeah, they've just been really helpful and um, interested in like getting information out and providing kind of a low cost adaptable open source solution, which is really cool and unique. Uh, so we're gonna look at that one today, Air Gradient One, here we go. All right, so here is the monitor itself. Um, I guess what you notice is that's actually super lightweight. Um, I haven't had this open, um, but it doesn't have a lot of components inside. I know they specifically um, designed the enclosure so that it wouldn't need anything like uh, fans or extra components. So it's pretty slim little design. It's got the mounting brackets on the back and then the cord, uh, which does come with it. You can uh, route out a couple different ways here depending. Um, and I did learn in, in talking with um, Air Gradient that it, it was specifically designed to be mounted vertically on a wall for reasons of airflow and physics. Um, I admittedly have had mine sitting on the desk like this for a while, but um, if you put it in a building, you should definitely make sure you mount it vertically. Uh, again, they were designed to be, you know, low cost, kind of no must, no fuss. The dashboard can be um, white labeled, so it can work, like I said, with, with their monitors or somebody else's monitors. And um, essentially, they're they're kind of a small business right now. They're a little bit more in startup mode, I would say. Um, and the oh yeah, the way I I heard about them originally was actually through um, my kind of sustainability peer network. One of my other air quality people was like, hey, have you heard about this company? Because they, in addition to being um, kind of a lower cost option for monitors, they sent out originally um, like a hundred dollars off offer to all of the reset APs, which was a kind of a neat uh, feature I thought too. So let's take a look at the software and the dashboard. Okay, so here is the Air Gradient uh, website showing the Air Gradient one. Um, it's kind of, somewhat simplistic yet a ton of information <laughs> at the same time um, but what I said um, what's really interesting about this device is the um, kind of open source aspect to it so if you're inclined to do so you can uh, build your own test kit they have a couple different options here basic pro and, and pre-soldered if you're not into the soldering um, option so i think that's really a unique feature and that comes with this open air gradient support system and network of other people doing the same thing but what i think is, is kind of cool here is just for me you know and what i want to use this for the ability to, to look and compare them all so here we have um like an outdoor pm average something happened here this was um maybe some kind of mowing or something event um and then there's a comparison. You can kind of customize these and look at um, kind of the overall top five locations for different monitors. You can see I have all of my different sensors named. And then there's an outdoor air. Um, they just grabbed a nearby purple air monitor um, for comparison to outdoor. And, and they give you kind of a reduction percentage here on like PM compared to this reference sensor, which is kind of a neat feature as well. And then, yeah, here's here's everything listed. I'm um, looking at PM, CO2, just like, you know, most of the other monitors, it does the regular, um, kind of the regular things. We got PM, CO2, temperature, relative humidity, and TVOC. Um, stay tuned, there's a kind of forthcoming uh, survey on TVOC that I think is gonna be an interesting topic of conversation in the industry. Another thing you can do here is 
change the units if you want to change um, particulate matter from uh, micrograms per cubic meter. You can change it to US air quality index instead. All right, so um, in terms of customization, you can change different indexes uh, that are shown here. On this tab, you can, again, change what's shown on this tab for outdoor locations. You can add more locations. Um, and then here in the hamburger menu, you can um, kind of change uh, a couple of things here if you want to export data, user admin, connect different sensors and whatnot. Um, what I like is the analytics portion because this was, um, you know, really the the heart of what I think people want to know when they hear that I'm testing all these different sensors. So let's look at just the last 24 hours. Um, we can look at all data, let's see, and then um, pick some different sensors here. So since we're talking about air gradient, we'll pick that one and um, we'll pick a couple others. And then you can pick what uh, parameter you want to compare. So here we've got uh, PM 2.5, we've got CO2. You can see um, I'm here on a weekend now, so the, the baseline is lower after that lunch break there, uh, trailed off throughout the end of the day Friday. TVOC, this is this is always highly variable. We're working, <laughs> working on it as an industry, I think. And then temperature, um, and you can see these interesting kind of step functions that are offset. It's probably a function of the timing that's being reported by the sensors. So probably something to, to fix there. Those should probably be a little bit more overlaid, um, but you can kind of see the same general trending up and down for temperature and humidity and um, heat index as well. So in addition, there are some additional um, settings you can add here in terms of alarms, place settings, open hours of operation, holidays, notifications, and things like that as well. For navigating um, back into the menu, there is an option for kind of some dashboarding or kiosk type functions here under this uh, public displays widget. So you can pick uh, different attributes that you wanna show. And, you know, in my case, they're all different monitors, but these could be different locations within um, a building to compare different metrics. And I'm sure, you know, working with air gradient, you could choose the level of uh, customization between these things that you wanted to display and um, types of units and data. And there's all kinds of different options um, within this menu as well. All right, uh, closing thoughts on uh, air gradient one. I know I mentioned it does um, the five kind of indoor air quality parameters. They do, um, I think they're working on an office version um, to kind of contrast the school's version and the office version is gonna also maybe do uh, noise and light. So it's a little bit more of an IEQ, indoor environmental quality monitor, not just air quality. Um, you can also generate reports uh, from the dashboard, daily, weekly report exports. And um, these little lights, will, um, there's multiple lights in here. I've actually seen more of them uh, and they will visually change um, to indicate air quality from green to yellow to red as needed. Um, so that's that's another kind of nice feature too, but um, cool little device, low cost right now. Um, there are um, ongoing subscription fees for the dashboard. Um, there's also a different device with Modbus integration option that you can purchase too. So air gradient one, uh, check it out. I, I'm a fan. I like it. Thanks for watching.